have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Video series RWG OSD Oversized Delta. All right, so this is a great crotch shot. Anyway, <laughs> maybe you'd want this one. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> seriously. So look, the original design of this display is these pens on the back get plugged into this adapter and then the adapter hangs off the board. You know, that's all right. The buzzer's here and a reset and erase button and you got access to the USB port. But I don't like that. I want it to be tucked behind, so don't look because I got safety glasses on. All right, now because there's one pen missing here, because most of these cables don't have an open pen, they have a solid pen so you can't plug it in upside down. We're gonna have to unsolder another one and then replace that pen. All right, now we've got all the pens. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this is a standard IDE. It's on the back of your CDs and the old uh, IDE hard drives and stuff. And they basically have this one blockage. So, again, I already took this one out, but that's so you can't plug this in backwards. So basically, this now has all the pins in it, and I cannot plug this in. It won't let me. It hits the center pin right there. But, if you look hard enough, you'll find cables which do not have a tab or anything and this one does fit so now we've got all of our 40 pins and we can make up the other adapter alright so here's the adapter board now to get this out it's going to be a little pain in the butt looks like the header spacing is all happy so I'm going to attempt to pull the black casing off the pins by just wiggling. There we go. Now I can desolder these one at a time without uh, trying to unsolder them all at once because that's good. That'd be a pain. All right, I got all those out, but I got all the holes full. If I really wanted to pick all these up and put them back in this adapter, I could, but ah, ain't worth it. I'm gonna try using the desoldering wick now and see if I can get that solder out of there. All right, the desoldering wick, most of you don't even know what that is. It's a braided stuff that's got flux on it that allows you to desolder stuff. However, I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin this board if I overheat it. Probably won't, but I don't wanna chance it. So I'm just gonna drill these out with the Dremel and the micro drill bits again. All right, got all those through. Now we'll put our connector on. Alright, well apparently these resistors and capacitors right there were were hitting, so I just trembled out the uh, back of this thing so they fit. Okay, well you can tell with my horrendous soldering tip. Look at this thing. It is just awful. The whole tip broke off and I just never fixed it. Anyway, even with that, 
we made this thing look really nice. So now we've got a side connector on what used to be a straight connector. Here's another one for you. So these cables, you can find them everywhere nowadays, but uh, these particular cables, most people may or may not know this. I don't think too many people realize this, but these cables, if you can get them apart without breaking them, which in itself is a delicate process. Okay, so if you can get them apart without breaking them like this, you'll realize that these are just nothing more than crimp connectors. So on the back side of here are little bitty tiny pinch points. And those pinch points just smash holes into the wire. And it clips the wire. You can actually see all the way through these. And then the back side has the little slots for the wires so you can make sure they all get right. And then they got the holes so that you make sure the wire goes in but catches those pens. So now we can make our own adapters in whatever length we want. Okay, so the adapter length that I want, yeah, you know, I'm gonna fold them this way, so maybe like this long. Get it about like, uh, I'd say that's probably good. Mm, not quite aligned over here though. Caught the edge of the wire. Okay, you'll be right there. Okay. Okay, so that looks good. So what I'm going to do is just stick it right here. That means it's a clean bumblebee. Sometimes it's clean bumblebee. It's trying to get lots of honey. Okay, so we got that crimped. Now we're just going to cut it off. And it just stay over here. custom adapter. So this one will go in this way. And this one will go on the top of the other one. There you go. Simple! See how nice that looks? I just crimped that on there myself pretty cool and then the last thing to worry about is if for some reason you don't want these pens on here take a knife and just cut it off I'm gonna leave them on there in case they match up I don't remember <laughs> I made up that cable that you guys saw earlier and now it just plugs in the back like this and it's behind the back 
nothing in the front. However, I got to make sure these pins are right. So we're just going to take an ohm meter and make sure the pins are still connected correctly. And then I took apart all those CD trays that I took the adapters off of. I have these plastic film sheets. This one has some foam on it. So I'm actually going to stick that between these two points so that this stuff doesn't touch and short out. Um, now what I did is I ended up cutting the pins off here and here. And that's because they were sticking out past everything else. So now the longest thing is actually these pins, which is fine. This plastic's pretty thick, so I'll use it for that. So let's check these pens, see what we got. Alright. Some very odds going on. So this connector, we looked at it earlier really closely. It's actually got these pins down the middle. And then it's got these other pins on the outside. That's one row, and this is the other row. Like, here's one's missing right there. So these are, like, grounded in weird ways or something. So if I try to... You can hear it beeping. Like, I have no idea. This connector, I like these because this wire is really thin, really small, and there's it's, it's better. The other style is a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. It's not as nice. I've seen these before, and they work just fine. However, there's something funny going on. So this wire, you can see the actual difference in the um, the wire. Look how fine this one is. Look how big this one is. So this actually truly only has 40 uh, wires. This one has like one in between each one of those. So we're just going to make a new connector, same method. I'm not going to have to record it because you already seen me make this okay. one. But it's the same thing, different style. Thanks, Dix. Sure, you dropped it. I know. Also note, this one's folded over, and the wire is actually cut off right here. And sometimes they'll make a little loop in the wire, so you got to be careful. So we'll just make up a new one. All right, you can see the difference there. Each one of these pins has a has a place, and nothing else around it. So we should be in business. None of these should be touching each other. All right, let's make it up. So apparently, no matter which way I flip this guy, my pins are always wrong. These two pins are flipped. So basically, we're going to have to flip every other one of these all the way down through here and make the cable right. It's not really what I wanted it to do, but it's what I have to do. Okay, well that was not the most fun thing I've ever did, I've ever done. I ever did it, but it's done. Now I need to test it. <laughs> Hopefully it's right. It's a little crooked. It's going by the other holes and somehow I screwed up or I don't know. Let's see if it works. There was the bells again. Did you hear how many there were? Uh, how many were there? Had to be nine. Starting early. Actually, I'm not done with the kitchen. <laughs> I'm cheating. Only because I wanted to sit with my wife. But she moved, so now I'm by myself.
All right, there it is. No more side panel. Just got an adapter and I went ahead and stuffed some foam and then you can see the, the plastic film here. I just used the sticky stuff and this foam to hold it out from the back. This way nothing shorts out. And then when I build the box, it'll just be in the back side of the box. Cool. That does me well. That was not fun. But I got it. Now the real test. Does it work? Oh, I hope so. Yay! Cool. That'll make it more compact for wherever I plan on putting it.